It's a busy Thursday night in the cave. We got six games for you to enjoy. Get comfy, here we go. My name is Andreas Sachin here, and you're watching Daily KHL Update. Welcome to Habarovsk. We're here for the second part of the back-to-back -back series between rivals Amor and Admiral. The Tigers won two days ago, 3-2, and it was their first victory of the season. And they get off to a good start in this one as well. Middle to the first period, Andrzej Vitasi converts to the power play for his first in orange jersey. Amor get it over the goal line one more time before the intermission, but it's cancelled after video review. Tomasz Zogornesik was a tad too high on the redirect. Admiral level it early in the second period. Vasilis Trotsov slams it home with a huge one-timer from mid-range and it's a 1-1 hockey game. A few minutes later, Slavo Shedin lets one rip from the point and hits Yuri Kozlovsky right in the skate. Yikes, that's gotta hurt. And if that wasn't bad enough, the puck stays in play and Kozlovsky can't leave the ice. He scrambles in agony for almost 35 seconds and you'll find a Yoko Alkinoara freezes the play. Courageous effort by Kozlovsky, but he is done for the night. Admiral lose a key defenseman. Soon after that, give and go between Glazichev and Jung, the skipper shoots from inside. Great save, Mark Langhammer. But he can't help him more late in the period as Sean Lalonde sends a dart on the short side to convert it to power play. That is the first career KHL goal for the former Chicago Blackhawks third round pick. And that's the game winning tally too. The Sailors get a split and Habarovsk gets to take it 2-1. We're off to Moscow now where Spartak faced the top team of the East top team of the list. Yulas Hudashik is finally back in the lineup. We'll pick it up from the second. Pavel Datsuk has the puck in the corner. Quick turn and he skates to the slot, shoots and hits the post. Spartak dodge a bullet. Moscow breaks the deadlock late in the period. Alexei Grishin moves the puck across the ice. Mikhail Yunkov puts it on net and Marcus Carson scores on the rebound. That's his fifth of the year, 1-0 Spartak. Third period now, Pavel Dadzik makes a crisp backhand pass to Nigel Das. He shoots from inside, but Hudicic gives him nothing on the short side. Last minute of regulation, after Andelius have the extra attacker, Dan Sexton finds the loose puck in the slot and shoots! It sails over the net! And that's the last chance they had in this one. Hudacek stops 28 shots for a shutout in his season debut, and after Andalista blank him back to back games for the first time in four seasons. 1 0 Spartak is the final. We drop anchor in Chirp of Vets now, where Sarastal defend the ice against Dynamo Mints. We head straight to the second. Drew Shore finds loose change at the blue line, skates up for an up man rush, slides it to his left, and Shane Prince puts the pass for this left for Dupalski. 1 0 Dynamo. Savage style leaving it up five minutes later. Andre Alexeyev snipes it through his screen from the high slot. Phenomenal shot and Alexeyev ties it up at one. Two minutes later, Shore and Prince connect again, although this time they switch rows. Shore finds an opening on the stick side and scores his first for Minsk while Prince gets an apple. Savage style bring it back to even before the intermission as they can run on a power play. Veteran Yuri Trubachov finishes off Daniil Vovchenko's feet to the far post. It's a 2-2 tie. Third period now, and Ivan Nikolishin goes for a skate. He gains the speed down the left wing, gets to the net, but fails to beat Jonas Sandra Pyrol. It goes to overtime, where Mena deep two on one rush for Dynamo. Drew Short wrists it, and Podjupalski flashes leather on him. That's a game saver right there. Indeed, it is. Ansel Galimov has the game on his stick in the fifth round of the shootout, and he delivers. Saverstal wins their second in a row. 3 2 shootout is the final. Nizhnikam Starostan is the side of our next game. Nefty Kimik play host to Kunlun Red Star. The two are ninth and 10th, respectively, in Eastern Conference standings. And they put on quite a show. The Dragons open scoring less than two minutes in. Lucas Lockhart skates to the prime shooting area and one times in and off assist by Tyler Wong. But in the very next shift, Garrett Hunt gets a minor for slashing and the Wolves go on a power play. Stepan Zafarchuk fires it from the point. Jeremy Smith gives up a rebound, goes way out of position, and Pavel Kulikov makes him pay for that. We skip ahead to the third. Neftekimi have a two-man advantage. Now Zakharchuk has another goal from the point, and this time he's right on the money. 2-1 home team. 
Berlo make it a 2-2 tie a few minutes later. Captain Brandon Eve doesn't let this gorgeous passing play go to waste and scores his second of the year. Andrew Mueller and Wadek Walski with assists. And less than two minutes later, Miller gives the Beasters their second lead of the night as he finds himself at the right place and the right time. 3-2 Kunlun. But Nefti Kimik make it even again shortly after that as Pavel Parada scores his sixth goal of the year. That's good enough to be tied for second in the league. The Bulls get another power play in overtime and Zakhartuk comes really close to getting a W for the home side but Smith comes up big. So it goes to the shootout and Tyler Wong wins it for Red Star with a nifty move in the third round. This is the first win for the Dragons on the road this year, 4-3 shootout final. We are now in St. Petersburg with Salamat you Live challenge SKA who have lost two in a row on home ice. But they get off to a perfect start in this one. Vladimir Kachov strikes against his former team in the opening shift. That's his third goal in two games and he's also tied for second in the league with six tallies. Salamat get a power play soon after that. Lena Sumerk slings it from the right circle and hits the post on the stick side. Second period now, Skia give up the puck on the breakout. Sakari Maninen moves it to Umark in front of Timo Hordikainen and the finish for a puts it on for his 100th career goal in KHL regular season. Soon after that, Pavel Koldov swings it from the high slot and lands at the hash marks. Rookie Ilya Boratov tries to go upstairs with it, but it rings up the pipe. SKA gets their lead back late in the period. Sergei Plotnikov pickpockets the Troy prospect Alexander Kadekin on the four check and scores his second of the year. That turnover by Kadekin at St. Petersburg lead 2 1. Moving on to the third and get a lot of this pass in play. Roman Rukavishnikov to Dmitry Kagalinsky who moves it to Neo Yakupa. and Yakupa beats Yuka Metzola with a quick release. Neo Yakupa scores his first even strength goal of the year to make it 3 1. Meter through the period, Salvat get a man advantage. Ulmerk shots from on top of the right circle. Rebound, Manin and goes for it from the left circle. And Alexei Milnichuk makes an unbelievable desperation save with his mask. Fearless, absolutely fearless. SPA put it out of reach late in regulation as Evgeny Katov scores one of the easiest goals of his career on the empty net. St. Petersburg snapped their two game skid and take it 4 1 at home ice. How about some place warm for our last game? I know just the place. This is Sochi, home of the Leopards. They cross sticks with Dynamo Moscow tonight. The blue and white get on the board just under six minutes in. Andre Patterson wires the past Mitri Chicken for his fourth of the season. Mitri Yashkin with a setup. They double their late meter for the period. Vladislav Kipramov dumps the puck in and bounces to the slot. Dmitry Marisei fails to take a shot, but Slava Kulaman makes no mistake. Such a pull back to within one late in the frame. Sean Collins jumps to the slot and scores on a power play. Swedish imports Stromval and Rosen draw the helpers. Second period now, Dynamo get a rare 4 on 3 power play. Yosa Heaton and sends the puck across the ice and Vadim Shipacho one times it into the back of the net. 3 1 Moscow now. The Leopards make it 3 2 later in the period as Maltis Stromval sends it in with a powerful clapper from on top of the left circle. But Dynamo restored the two-goal margin just 42 seconds later as Yossa Heaton and takes a harmless-looking shot from the point and it ends up in the net somehow. 4-2 off the 40. Ilya Proskurikov replaces Dmitry Shikin in goal for the third period and he stays perfect, stopping all four shots he had to face over the stretch. So to get it back to one goal differential again, late in regulation as Sergei Shmilov makes Mikhail Tchaikovsky pay for the giveaway at the far blue line and scores on a breakaway. But that's as close as they can get in this one. Dynamo take it 4-3 on the road. And that's it for the LKHL update, but do come back tomorrow for two more games. Tractor will face Boris while Red Army will challenge Torpedo. My name is Andrea Sachinka, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon.